Nicely worked away on the offside. Just a little bit of swing, but it swung nicely onto the middle of the bat. Yeah, he's got enough of that. The dive. Smashed straight down the ground. That slower delivery was picked from the hand. A great shot. Absolutely lovely shot. He's picked that up. He's picked that up to perfection and lands over the boundary. This is one of his absolute key areas. Not responding to that. But... Oh. It's gone straight up in the air. Man backtracks and puts it down. Chance but should have taken it once he got there. Yeah, he was never comfortable underneath it. He was just moving back. back. He could have easily turned around because the ball was in the air for a long period. On, and uh, couldn't out, judge it properly and then hard hands. Have another go in the crowd. Doesn't matter what sort of total you're chasing. Just go hard. Yeah, he's the man in form and this is the man in Nick. Another good shot. Another boundary. Especially if you're chasing all oh, full delivery. Should have been stumped. I think he got a little tickle on it uh, before the ball got to the wicket keeper. Down the leg side, it's a, a poor delivery. And that finds a gap as well. Lots of work to do out there, and I don't think Luke Wood's going to make it. Oh, that's a great shot. And well, well short of the 200 they need tonight. One thing they do so well is run hard between the wickets. That's 50 for Mohamed Rizwan, 50 from just 30 deliveries. Oh, what a hit! What a hit! Timing, beautiful balance as always. Brilliant, Barber. Spoil those figures a bit, one ball left. That's well bold. But it's also 50 for Barber Azam. A little bit slower than Rizwan, nonetheless, 50 from 39. They're going well, 104 without loss. First ball from Mern Ali goes way over the ropes. Only conceded five runs, and you had that feeling something is going to give. Spectacular, absolutely brilliant. Slightly outside the off stump. And that has been tough. The pitch is still the same. It's good batting by these two. This is huge. It's all about skill. The information is all about making the right strategy. And both these batsmen felt Moon Ali is an easier option. That's four. Doesn't seem to make an awful lot of difference whether it's Moen Ali or Adil Rashid. 22. Just waited for it and slammed this over mid-wicket. England were very good against Pakistani spin as well. Pakistan have taken it too hard and then... Yeah, very, very sweet struck. It's brilliant, isn't it? And move towards the off stump. Here we go again. Here we go again. Not quite so far this time, but certainly far enough. Yeah, eighth of the innings. England got nine. Well, Pakistan already with eight. Has been magnificent hitting. He's found the gap, he's found the gap, that is brilliant. This partnership growing nicely, the positive intent, the cap England under pressure. The 
looking for two again. They'll get him. They will get him. Come out nicely. T like that. This is a beauty. Slow ball picked up beautifully between uh, Medon and Midwicket. Raced away to the boundary. He's on 90 now of 55s. Not with these full tosses. There's a fielder there, but to no win for the maximum. What a hit once again, Barbarazam. These two are looking great. Yeah, even if Sam Curran had managed to maybe pat it back into play again, you just felt that the momentum going backwards, he'd never have been able to stop it. Watch and see. Barbarazam becomes the first Pakistani player to make two centuries in T20 international cricket. The first was in Centurion against South Africa. What a player. Very elegant player. It was very different tonight. It's the second hundred. Hundred. This is the moment. This is how he got the, the final run required. Yeah. Well, that's your moment. Enjoy it. Yeah. So absolutely fabulous. You see the, uh, the phone lights go on around the stadium. Oh, he's found the gap. That is superb. Well, the modern day cricketers. 20 of two is no real issue, to be honest. And the man is on 100. He's not going to miss out on anything. He's picking the gap beautifully. Outside off stump, picked up. The There's ground. a fielder there to nowhere. Another boundary. Chance. Oh, it was a chance. And England needed to take it. Ideally, you don't want to go into the last over. You want to finish it before that. But if you're chasing maybe three or four runs in the last over, it should be okay. Amazing partnership. That's it. Baba finishes it. He finishes it. And who else? That has been quite extraordinary. One nil down in the series. All sorts of questions about the batting lineup, about the intent, about the ability to find the boundaries against spinners. All of those have been answered and more this evening. That has been something to behold here at a packed Karachi Natural Stadium.